you were a, a chubby kid. Mm -hmm. You kind of got picked on a little bit. Yeah. How much did that bother you as a kid? Kids are brutal. So you had to withstand, you know, kids calling you fat, calling you names, and whenever you were eating. But now, like, I think it's beautiful. Like now we're like we're, we're the big boys club, right? Oh like, yeah, for in, sure. Like, I mean, for I think, sure. I think like we should like the biggest like anyway. I think everyone needs to see like what a full <laughs> offensive lineman looks like. Michigan offensive line has dominated the line of scrimmage. Let's talk about your, your family upbringing. Uh, how important was kind of their love and, and kind of the, the way you know, kind of shaped the, the person you are? Yeah, I mean, my parents and my family mean the world to me. Uh, I'm the youngest of six children, and uh, my parents, uh, they're, they're uh, Nigerian immigrants, so they came over in the 80s and the 90s. and. You know, just the sacrifices and, and like the life that they want us to live as their children, like uh, having a better life than they did um, and just seeing them go to work every day. man, it just meant the world to me that I had those two uh, people that raised me and like people I could follow. And uh, and then my siblings, like they're, they're just we're the coolest bunch of people. So you're the baby. Yeah. yeah. How was it in the house with being the youngest? It was a lot of bullying, a lot of name calling. <laughs> uh, but it, it prepared me though, because when I went to public school, um, like in my county, like being on the bus, when, like heading to school, so you, you was gonna get talked about. <laughs> you had to be, you had to have tough skin. So all that, like just growing up with, you know, my five older siblings, all of that prepared me. When did you start playing offensive line? I started playing offensive line, I wanna say seventh grade. It was my second year playing football. I didn't want to be an O-lineman, so I started as a defensive uh, tackle, and then I was a tight end, but I ain't ever get in that tight end. You realized you were too smart to play defensive line, right? <laughs> offensive line was smarter than defensive oh, line. Oh, we're, we're, we definitely, we definitely okay, are smarter sure, than that. Yeah. yeah. And on top of that, the, the one thing that they always, they always like cheat their alignment, um, so you could tell when they're finna twist or, so or anything, and then they'd be doing stuff, different things with their hands, like we're like, all right, bet, bring on the twist. I love too when they they pirate stunt mm -hmm. and they just say pirate. Yeah. Like we don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay, pirate. Hey, go. pirate guys, they pirate over here. They're running the pirate. Yeah. They think they think we're stupid. Yeah. But they they're the ones that yeah. Their center Olu Oluwatimi transfers in from Virginia. He was a Remington finalist, which is the best center in the country a year ago. Comes in, he is fantastic up front. Let's talk about the decision to transfer from, from Virginia to, to Michigan. Obviously, kind of the landscape of college football changed yeah and that's kind of become a process now how'd you make you know kind of that decision to, to move off of virginia yeah so at the end of the 2021 season our our head coach at virginia he resigned yep and i knew i'd be playing for a new head coach so i was like if i'm playing for a new head coach um you know let me choose him and obviously it's michigan you know great great brand great uh academics and you know one of the best programs in all of college football so um all of that went into the decision of why i chose michigan Hands it off to Purim, picks up the first down with a little room to spare. How do you explain playing center? Yeah, playing center, man, it's, it's one of the most fun positions in all of football because you got the ball in your hand every play and you're old lineman, so you get to kick people every, <laughs> on every play. And, uh, you know, it's kind of controlled aggression because if you're, if you're all like all over the place, then the ball is going to be all over the place and the offense is not going to be able to function. So. Playing center, you know, it's cerebral. Um, it's it's also a position of violence. And, yeah. And uh, it's a position of leadership as well. How did you develop into becoming the leader of that unit so quickly? I was humble. I worked hard. I bought in. And uh, all that just led to the guys believing in me and, you know, wanting to follow me. Oh, look to me is he came over here as a veteran. The handoff from J.J. McCarthy is back into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. You won the Remington Award for the best center in the country. Yeah. The Allen Trophy for the best lineman in the country. And the Joe Moore Award is part of the best offensive line in the country. How does it feel to kind of have all that hardware? I mean, it was awesome. It was, it was a great year. Um, you know, when you have team success, you're going to have individual success. So I think that's kind of, I got, you know, I benefited from that. Um, I thought I put together a great season to, like, garner those awards. So, but it felt great. How proud is your family of your success right now? They're they're happy. They're they're very happy um, that you know everything just kind of worked out, and I'm on the cusp of like you know realizing my NFL dream.